Greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet. A YouTube channel content creator actively alienating everyone, both the analog and digital world. Welcome and good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8. I have a book in front of me called Fungi. Discover the science and secrets behind the world of mushrooms. By Lynn Body and Ali Ashby. I got it from a library somewhere. Fungi are fundamental to all life on Earth. Their natural networks help plants live and grow. As medicine, they saved lives. And in the kitchen, they put the fizz in champagne and the flavor in chocolate. But what are fungi, and how do they affect plants, animals, and humans? By feeding animals, many animals, and connecting plants, fungi are essential for ecosystems to thrive, playing a crucial role in maintaining life as we know it, with huge potential for use in everyday products and processes, in food, health, materials, and the environment, fungi are vital for a more sustainable future. Get closer to around 300 species of mushrooms, lichens, and other fungi, and find out the hidden secrets of mycelium. Experts in information and beautiful illustrations reveal that fungi are present everywhere, from forests to deserts. Step inside the fascinating world of fungi to discover a kingdom that hides in plain sight. As I struggle to open a book. There's a table of contents. I guess I can read through real quick. It's got various pictures of mushrooms throughout the book with names that I will probably not be able to pronounce. Over here on the left you have uh, Mara Misu Capillaris. Uh, contents, introduction, page 6, chapter 1, discover, page 10, chapter 2, live, page 34, 3, interact, 58, chapter 4, change, 104, chapter 5, walk, 114, chapter 6, find, 160, chapter 7, grow, 214, chapter 8, celebrate, 228, chapter 9, heal, 246, chapter 10, use, 264. By the way, I would like to recommend the anime, Ghost in the Shell. That is a good anime, and I'd like to recommend Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy IX. Further reading of resources are page 282, glossary 288, index of fungi 290, index 294, and about the authors 300. Amethyst Deceiver, Lacrea Amethyst. Like I said, I wasn't going to be able to pronounce any of this. This a beautifully vibrant mushroom with its deep violet cap and stem can often deceive. As this mushroom dries out, it turns a pale gray, almost white, which makes identification difficult. Fungal filaments, a teaspoon of woodland soil, about one gram, contains about 300 and 30 feet or 100 meters of fungal filaments called hyphae. So in the soil beneath your feet on a short walk, the total length hyphae is enough to stretch several times around the Earth's equator. Um, well, that sounds... It's like, what are you doing? I'm switching my hands holding the microphone. This is a heavy book. Fungi were once grouped with plants, but they are now recognized as a separate kingdom of living things. Scientists estimate that there are 5 million species of fungi, ranging from microscopic yeast and networks of fine filaments to mushrooms, puffballs, and brackets. What are fungi? Fungi, or fungi, are neither plants nor animals. They are a separate kingdom of organisms present in just about every habitat on Earth, from deep sea caves to fruit bowls, and they even form part of the human body's microbi microbiome. Fungi are classed as microorganisms. For example, yeast form individual cells, mostly three to four, but up to 40 thousandths of a millimeter, written in the you know, micrometer stuff. It's the in diameter, whereas Filamentous, thread-like fungi form microscopic tubes called hyphae. These can be made up of one or many cells of varying length and just a few thousandths of a millimeter thick, around 40 times thinner than a human hair. 
When water is added to dried yeast or when fungi spores are layered upon one another in a spore print, pages 172 to 173, they become visible to us. However, we need a microscope to observe them in detail. Hyphae can be seen with the naked eye, and when they come together in mass, for example, growing on food or on the underside of dead wood, they group together to form visible fruiting bodies and also form networks called mycelium. Other microscopic and spreading over large distances, one of the largest living things is the mycelium of a fungus, page 36. The main body, mycelium, the main body of a tree is its roots, trunk, and branches. Likewise, the main structure of a filamentous fungus is the fine hyphae that forms networks called mycelia, which are often hidden from view. Unlike plants, fungi cannot make their own food, but instead must find and digest dead organic matter or get it from living plant or animal. Fungal fruits, mushrooms. Apples are the fruits of apple trees and pears are the fruits from pear trees. The fruits differ structurally, both, but both produce, prod, protect, and disperse seeds. Similar mushrooms, brackets, earth stars, cups, corals, and puffballs, pages 180 through 213, among many others, are the fruiting bodies of certain types of fungi. Their role is to produce, protect, and disperse fungal spores, allowing the fungus to spread to new environments. Mycelium of some species produce fruiting bodies only once in their life. Some make them for a short time each year for many years, and others make fruiting bodies that continue to produce spores for many months or even years. Key term. Scientists use specialist words to talk about the kingdom of fungi, many of which have been included throughout this book. Check the glossary on pages 288 to 289 for a simple explanation of key terms. Scarlet Elf Cup. Sarco... Sifa... Cocinia. The cup-shaped fruiting bodies of the Scarlet Elf Cup can be found on decaying branches often hidden by leaf litter. Leaf litter. On the forest floor. The cups can reach... One and a half inches, four centimeters in diameter, and have an inner spore-bearing surface that is bright red. The fruiting bodies are attached to their substrate by a short stem. More than mushrooms. All mushrooms are fungi. But not all fungi are mushrooms. Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of a group of fungi called baso. Diomycetes, pages 14-15, they form the tip of the proverbial iceberg. It is the mycelium that is the main part of the most fungi. Some fungi grow in the dark, pages 124-125. to Most make Some make music, page 236-237, or eat nematodes, page 287. And others soak up radiation or break down plastics, pages 280 or 281 while others produce valuable enzymes used in industry, pages 276, 277. Many fungi are eaten by animals, pages 286 and 87. Some are edible to humans, pages 216, 17. And others are deadly poisonous, pages 96, 97, and 178 to 179. Some mushrooms have been used by humans for centuries for their perceived medicinal properties, pages 248 to 251, while others have been incorporated into spiritual practices, pages 240 to 243. Some fungi can cause disease and even death to plants, pages, two, pages 72 to 81, and other organisms, pages 88, 91. Yet most plants, pages 60 to 63, and also many animals, pages 82 to 85, would not survive without the beneficial partnerships they form with fungi. Some fungi break down dead animals and plant material and even the very fabric of our homes, pages 32 to 33. They are the Earth's best recyclers. Without them, the nutrients in dead trees and other organic matter would be locked up and there would be no fertile soil to grow new plants' life. Pages 280 to 81. This book is not just about mushrooms. It is not a reference book for identifying mushrooms. It is a book for the inquisitive, for those who want to learn more about the kingdom fungi, what they are, what they do, and how they have come to shape the world we live in. Why is this important? Because one thing is certain, we could not survive on Earth without fungi. Well... 
That was the introduction. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.